It's no secret that OpenAI is pretty scared of DeepSeek right now. You can look at their pricing of O3, their commitment to do more open source stuff, or the thing that just dropped now, their request to the US government to ban DeepSeek from the United States. Ah, this is gonna be quite a dive. I have so many thoughts here from the meaning of open in AI to the weird things Sam does to hold the stranglehold he has on the space to the surprisingly good faith operation of the team over at DeepSeek. There's a lot to dive into here. And uh, if I'm going to lose my DeepSeek models and I have to spend a whole lot more money, someone's going to have to pay for it. I'd rather make it you guys. I'm going to let the sponsors handle that. We'll be right back. If you hang out here, you probably build fast, but does your code build fast? Very different question. If you're building enough code, chances are the code itself is starting to build pretty slow. Today's sponsor is here to help us out. Blacksmith made my builds way faster and chances are they'll do the same for you. Their secret is that they're using cutting edge gaming CPUs in order to build your code faster and cheaper, and they're doing everything else they can do to make it fast as well. They give you 25 gigs of cash when Git only gives you 10. They made their Docker builds way, way faster, like hilariously so. Companies like PostHog had their builds go down from around nine minutes to a minute and 27 seconds just for the Docker portion. And then when it comes to the GitHub Actions, they're seeing even crazier wins. Like Node goes from 180 minutes, yes, three hours to build, down to under two. And it also costs a third as much money. If your company's spending a lot of money or a lot of time waiting on GitHub, this is a thing you should do. And it's not like it's hard to set up either. It's literally a one line of code change. And you might be worried about the custom actions and things you have. Not only do they support pretty much every action that already exists on GitHub, they've made their own custom ones like cache layers for every language from Go to Rust to Ruby to even Zig. And if you don't believe me, go try it out. You get 3000 minutes per month for free. You don't even need a credit card to sign up. Thanks again to Blacksmith for sponsoring. Check them out today at suedev.link slash blacksmith. Sam, why are you doing this to us? In a new policy proposal, OpenAI describes Chinese AI lab, DeepSeek, as a state-subsidized and state-controlled operation. And they recommend that the US government consider banning models from the outfit in similar People's Republic of China-supported operations. If this proposal was them suggesting they ban access to their platform and services, I could theoretically see it. But that is not the recommendation in here. I wanna read this to be 100% sure. There are some fun numbers in here, actually. Their phrasing is that we need to ensure people have the freedom of intelligence, by which we mean the freedom to access and benefit from AGI, protected by both autocratic powers that would take people's freedoms away, and also from layers of law and bureaucracy that would prevent our realizing of these things. This is the crazy thing. More than 400,000 people around the world are using ChatGPT to ideate, discover, and break through beyond what we're currently capable of doing on our own. In advancing democratic AI, America is competing with a Chinese Communist Party determined to become the global leader by 2030. That's why recent releases like DeepSeek R1's model are so noteworthy, not because of their capabilities. R1's reasoning capability, albeit impressive, are at best on par with several US models, uh, only because you put out O3 Mini. Because DeepSeek is simultaneously state subsidized, state controlled, and freely available, the cost to its users is their privacy and security. Okay, this is what I was looking for absolute fucking bullshit. When I'm running a model on my machines and on my infrastructure, my privacy and security are not being compromised, unlike they are with OpenAI. Because when I use OpenAI stuff, it has to run on their infrastructure. Unless you happen to have a partnership with Azure so you can run it on their stuff, you cannot run OpenAI stuff in a way that doesn't inherently put your privacy and security at risk. This is absolute bullshit. This is why I wanted to read it. I wanted to see if they were actually saying what it seemed like they were, and they are. They are saying that open models are inherently less private and secure because they think that China is bad. And on one hand, if we had to send all of our prompt data to China and to the actual business of DeepSeek in order for us to use the model, then yeah, that would be bad. But I don't even know if DeepSeek's APIs are the majority method used for DeepSeek usage. I would guess that it's a high percentage, but I don't think it's going to be over 50%. The magic of what DeepSeek did is they were more open than almost any prior models. They put out 12 papers last year, 12, about the different things that they invented, the different training methods and technologies that they figured out in order to improve the way that they train, in particular around the restrictions for imports that existed in China. One of the big things that Chinese AI companies don't have access to, it's not the GPUs. We're not just keeping them from getting A100s. The bigger problem is we're not letting them have the technologies to connect those GPUs with really high bandwidth between them. 
Technologies like NVLink allow you to take tons of these giant GPUs and have really fast transfers between them. They have no access to that in China right now, so instead they have to build new novel ways to minify and minimize the amount of data being transferred between the GPUs. And they've done some genuinely incredible groundbreaking research and innovation there that doesn't just make it possible for them to work, it also benefits the people making models in other places without those restrictions. And to ignore all of this, to say China bad because you want your competition to go away and you look bad because there's a more open alternative now, I hate it. I'm tired of OpenAI and more importantly, I'm tired of Mistral posturing as though they are an open option when they're not. Thankfully, OpenAI doesn't pretend they're open anymore, just their name, but Mistral loves to brag about how open they are, while you can't use their models outside of their infra unless you pay the massive licensing fees. And they don't open source any of the interesting stuff going on. There's no way to host Mistral as fast as they do on their own infra right now. That's not open. DeepSeek showed us how they trained. They showed us what technologies and innovations they made. They open sourced a ton of things from the file systems that they invented to make it faster to do these trainings to the novel ways they found to compress the context size as they're generating new tokens. There is so much cool shit that those guys have done. This video by Welsh Labs is so cool. If you're curious about these types of things and you want to see the actual innovative work DeepSeek is doing and giving out, check out this video. I'll make sure this is linked in the description because Welch Labs killed it with this. This made me feel like I'm actually somewhat qualified to talk about this stuff now. I had to rewatch this video like four times to actually understand it because it was so absurdly detailed. But it's actually incredible what DeepSeek is doing and how much information they are sharing. I'm not saying you should use their infrastructure. I would push against that. Sending all of your data to a state actor, not a thing you should do. I totally agree in that regard. But we don't have to do that to use DeepSeek. We can all learn from it. And there's a reason that Meta hasn't said a word about Llama for months now. They are rebuilding everything internally because they realized how much shit they were doing wrong based on the success DeepSeek had. The claim that they make in this proposal is specifically that DeepSeek has requirements under Chinese law to comply with demands for user data. Therefore, this model should be banned. No, maybe, maybe ban their platforms, maybe put different restrictions on hitting the APIs for these things, but banning the use of these models is insane. There was a proposal a while back that was just so absurd I didn't even cover it. The proposal was that we should fine people for downloading these models. That's insane. It's unclear whether OpenAI's references to models are meant to refer to the DeepSeek API, the lab's open models, or both. I think it's pretty clear right here. The potential that DeepSeek could be compelled by the CCP to manipulate its models to cause harm. You're specifically saying the models should be banned. And the call out here that DeepSeek's freely available, it's assumed what they're talking about there isn't the APIs because the APIs cost money. What they're talking about here is the model. Maybe the mobile app, but they didn't say that anywhere in here at all. I love this call out saying that the CCP views violations of American IP rights as a feature, not a flaw. Because I can't violate copyright with your models, right, OpenAI? Are you going to start saying the reason you're not open source anymore is because people would be able to do things like that? Because that would be really funny if you said that. There is one last good call out here that's worth acknowledging. There isn't any clear link between the Chinese government and DeepSeek. There are a lot of big companies that the Chinese government is very directly, clearly involved in. There's a bunch of them. Like, you could make an argument like this for something like Alibaba, where there is much more Chinese government involvement. You can't for DeepSeek. You can argue that their APIs might be risky because of Chinese law, but this is a hedge fund project. A lot of the DeepSeek guys used to be crypto bros and we're just looking for things to do with their GPUs. This isn't some government plant. This isn't some crazy effort by China. No one expected DeepSeek to be as good as it is or to have found the success that they've found. Certainly not China, certainly not us, possibly not even them. The work DeepSeek did is incredible. And the fact that they open sourced it is unbelievable. DeepSeek is almost without question the most open AI company ever made. DeepSeek published more open work and research last year, arguably than the rest of the AI world combined. It's insane how much shit they did. And to see them talk shit on like this because open AI will do anything to win, it hurts. I hate that. I saw a quote from Paul Graham here that I want to bring up. You could parachute Sam Altman into an island full of cannibals Come back in five years and he'd be the king. I'm starting to see what they mean by that because this is not great. 
I'm a big fan of open source. If you've been here for a while, you probably understand that about me. There's a decent chance you are too. And I hate the fact that a company called OpenAI is trying to destroy the most OpenAI company that ever existed. DeepSeek's work should not be talked shit on. It certainly should not be banned from the US. And it's sad to see a company like OpenAI doing what they're doing here. I am disappointed. I hope they reconsider the absurdity of this request. And maybe in the future, we'll see them look at DeepSeek, not as a thing to destroy, but as an opportunity to improve their own work and maybe, just maybe, be a little bit more open themselves. And I'm sad because OpenAI has been growing on me again recently. O3 Mini is an incredible model. It's my favorite model right now. It's what I use for the solving of so many hard problems. 4.5 is a great step in the right direction. I've been working with them more and they've been great to work with, but this is an unnecessary destructive path and I'm disappointed that they're going down it. This reminds me of like, Apple's weird legal cases where they start suing people for importing motherboards to replace broken ones on phones because they had an Apple logo on it. This feels like that, like an absolute bullshit circumvention of the law and people's understanding of certain behaviors and things in the world in order to make it slightly more likely that you win. And I hate it. Let me know what you guys think. At the very least, you should go download your favorite DeepSeek models so that we can still have them in the future. Until next time, keep prompting.